something is happening on U Street, Northwest Washington, D.C. The sound can be heard from this building. It's a gathering of people who have a connection to an Asian culture. This is a universal capoeira center where values from the slave trade era are preserved. The class combines acrobatics, dance, and music. The group gets into swing, letting the juices flow with this opening performance. The convener of this class is Dale Marceline, who has been a follower of this art for years. His quest for inner peace led him to capoeira. He shares his knowledge on the origin of capoeira. You know, and capoeira originated from mostly West Africa, not just from Angola, like people say, but it comes from Angola, Sierra Leone, Benin, Burkina Faso, these places like that. And when the slaves came over, each one had their own culture. You know what I mean? And when they put them all together in Brazil, you know, you had your culture, I had my culture, he had his culture. And then I think that's how capoeira uh, developed, you know. Dale also gives insight into the meaning of the songs. A lot of the songs, they talk about birds, because a lot of the Africans, you know what I mean, they worked on the, uh, the deck, and there was a lot of birds there, you know. So a lot of songs is about birds. As you know, a lot of the songs are spiritual. They talk about God. They talk about the saints and the Catholic uh, religion. The group then proceeds to the next level, which is all about friendly martial arts. I need to be careful because he can take this leg, boom, and kick me in the face like this. So I need to protect this. And I need to watch my legs. Pull my, pull, boom. Culture is a strong part of people's lives as it has a great influence on their fears, hopes, values, and views. Which is why the group connects with Capoeira, believing it to set them on a path that will return them to innocence. Jinga! Yeah! Jinga!